All right, this is not suspicious at all. Nothing's missing, I promise, by Timotab. Hello, hello, friends. How's it going? As always, the link is in the description. If you'd like to do this along with me or without me, just let me know how you did in the comments. Normal 6x6 Sudoku rules apply. Digits along gray thermometers strictly increase from the bulb end. Digits separated by a white dot are consecutive. All white dots are given. Perfect. We're going to remember that. I'm going to remember that. All white dots are given. We're not going to have a moment where I say, oh, yeah, because I'm just going to remember and I'm going to use that throughout the puzzle. <laughs> Nothing's missing, I promise. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nothing's missing, I promise. All white dots are given. There are no white dots. Oh, so just nothing will be consecutive. Oh, boy. So, like, if this is 135, this will be 246. Oh, actually, if this could be 135. This could be 235. Okay. Um, how can we... Normally, I would mark a thermometer like this. This is actually a lot for just a length of three thermometer. But if these can't be consecutive, there's no way this will ever be a two. Because then this would have to start with a one and it won't be consecutive. There's no way this will be a three because this would have to be two, one, and that doesn't work. Um, so then the next smallest option is one, three, four. So this can't be a four because that would make three and five consecutive. Um, this won't be a four because you'd have to go four, five, six. This can't be a three. <clears throat> Don't lose my voice. This can't be a three because it has to be three, four, five, or three, four, six, or three, five, six, but either way, it doesn't work. So this is just gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. Some shading might be a good idea. Do I want to shade cells for like... I, low, medium, high is not going to keep happening, will it? Highlighting the whole grid was really helpful there. I'm not sure how, but it was. These could be the same, but these are going to be different. Um, wow. These are going to... If we have 3, 4, 3, 4, then because of horizontal roping, this is going to be 1, 2, 5, 6. And it's going to be the, the pink one, two. Not the orange one, two. The orange one, two will go here. Ooh. Can you figure out more than this? Maybe. Even and odd is better. Does it have to go even odd? This could be one, four, six. If this is one, four, six, that still works with all white dots are given. And then this could not be a one, so it'd be a two. And then you could do two, four, six. That's still fine. Four, six would. I mean, you could just put a six here. Four would go here. That's fine. Um, so it doesn't need to be even or odd. Is this low, medium, high thing going to keep repeating? Maybe let's look at, okay, whether this is a five or a six, we won't have a five, six here.
and five six would have to go here. This would be three, four, five, six. But if this is five, six, this won't be five, six. So this is three, four. So this would be five, six. Yeah, because if this is a six, this won't be a six. If this is a six, this won't be a five. So there's no way it could be five, six. Um, same with five. So yeah, this has to be three, four. Okay. Um, sure. Ah, uh, this could be either one. But we are going to have pink, red here. And if this is 5, 6, this won't be 5, 6. So this will be 5, 6. It'll be a red 5, 6. This will be a pink 1, 2. Coloring is going to help me out. Kind of the same thing. A blue won't go here. Five six won't go next to five six. Um, this can't be blue. This can't be green. This could be green because you could go six three. Um, we actually know that green and red can go next to each other. So it's either going to be three five or four six. So this would also be green. Well, we also know that yellow and wait, how does that work? Three, four. In order for a three and a four to go next to this, it's going to have to be a six. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right. <laughs> That's the only way that a three and a four can go next to this. And in order for a five to go next to this, this is going to have to be a three. So yellows are going to be four. So this won't be a five. It's a red six. Um, right now, it doesn't matter if these are one or two. Either one works. Um, we need to place a three here. It can't go here. So one of these will be a three. We need to place an orange one, two here. It can't go here because... If this is a one and this is a two or two and one, that won't work. So orange will have to go here or here. And we still need a five, which can't go here or here. Oh, five has to go here, actually. So this is a three and this is an orange one, two. Don't know yet. Okay, um, let's go ahead and... Finish coloring these in. That was easy. Okay. This still needs a three, a five, and a pink one, two. Oh, wait, hey, this, uh, this is the one. Hey, <laughs> this can't be a two. So this is a one and this is a two. Beautiful. I should have just clicked on them all um, because of this three. Now, we need to place a five in this region and it can't go here or here. So this will be a five. We need a one, two, three, four. One can't go here or here. One could still go here or here. Four won't go here because of this five. Also won't go here. So this will be a four. Um, I said one. Can I go there? One could still go here or here. A two. Oh, we should just go, um, if we just place a four, we should look at threes because we know a three can't go here. So a three will have to go here. Now we can look at two. We know it won't go here. So this will be a two and then this will be a one. Perfect. We need a two in this column and it won't go here. So this is a two. This is a five. 
We need to place a four. It can't go here or here. So this will be a four. Three. Can't go here. So this will be a three. Two, one. This will be a six. Here, we still need a one, a three, and a five. So these did end up being even, odd, odd, even, even, odd, odd, even. Okay. So maybe that would have worked out as well. I think when I looked at it, I said it didn't have to be, but it makes sense that it ended up being that way. If nothing can be consecutive, we'd run out of placement for numbers. Um, let's see. We need a two. Uh, let's do one, three, five, actually. We need to be able to place one, three, five. One can't go here or here, so this will be a one. Three also can't go here, so this is a three and this is a five. Uh, we need two, four, six. Two can't go here or here, so that's a two. Four won't go here, so this is a four and this is a six. Um, we need a uh, two, four, six here as well. Um, four can't go here or here, so this is a four. Six will go here, and this will be a two. And then we need one, three, five. One will go here, and five will go here. And then we need to color everything in. Before I finish the puzzle, we have to color everything in. Fives are blue, sixes are red, ones are orange, twos are pink, and fours are yellow. This is a three. Beautiful, beautiful. 11, 12, liked this puzzle. Very much liked this puzzle. This one made me think, oh, I was so worried at the beginning when nothing was given, but uh, nothing was missing. Tim promised. Very nice. Let me know how you did in the comments. I really liked this one. We have a nice quilt going on now. Nice.